p a minus 2b minus c is a factor of 4a squared minus 4ab minus c squared minus 2bc then the value of p is so basically it says you know this this term here p a minus 2b minus c is a factor of this term what do you mean by x is a factor of y x can divide y so basically p a minus 2b minus c can divide 4a square minus 4ab minus c square minus 2bc now we are not going to do that long division here to find out what the value of p would be simple idea is to substitute go by substitution method right substitution method works the best in case of algebra trigonometry and such topics so here we'll go for substitution method what do we do substitute values in place of a b c so like for example let's say a equals to random values 3 b equals to 2 and c equals to 1 for example right so what will be p a minus 2 b minus c this will be equal to p into 3 minus 2 into 2 minus c is 1 right so this will be 3 p minus 4 minus 1 5 3 p minus 5 now what will be 4 a squared minus 4 a b minus c squared minus 2 b c this will be equal to 4 into a squared is 3 squared minus 4 into 3 into 2 minus 1 squared minus 2 into you can do this mentally also i'm just writing it so that you can follow minus 2 times of 2 times of 1 now simplify this 3 squared 9 9 4 36 4 3 is 12 12 2 is 24 this is 1 this is 2 into 2 4 so basically 36 minus 24 is 12 12 minus 1 is 11 11 minus 4 is 7 you getting it 36 minus 24 minus 1 minus 4 12 minus 5 7 right so basically now if you go back we are saying 3p minus 5 is a factor of 7 what are we saying 3p minus 5 is a factor of 7 now what are the factors of 7 we know that factors of 7 are 1 and 7 factors of 7 are 1 and 7 meaning 3p minus 5 is equal to 1 or 3p minus 5 is equal to 7 there are factors of 7 7 is a prime number what are the factors of 7 1 and 7 so 3p minus 5 should be 1 or 3p minus 5 should be 7 that's the idea so simplify 3p minus 5 is 1 so 3p equals to 6 p equals to 2 or 3p minus 5 equals to 7 so 3p equals to 12 p equals to 12 by 3 4 2 or 4 the expression x squared plus x plus 1 is written in the form of x plus 1 by x whole square plus q square then the possible values of q are then the possible values of q are now options are missing that's my first challenge like i told you right if options were given it would become really easy to verify so i request all of you to post questions along with options in future so that i can give you better ways of solving the question now i'll tell you how to work on such questions in a simple fashion see what does it say there is this expression x squared plus x plus one this should be written in the form of x plus one by x whole square plus q square so basically we are saying x squared plus x plus one should be in the form of x plus one by x whole squared plus q squared then what are the possible values of q what are the possible values of q so we want to rewrite x squared plus x plus one in this fashion as simple as that we want to rewrite x squared plus x plus one in the form of x plus one by x whole square plus q square so how do you do that and and what are the possible values of q it's simple substitute some value in place of x this becomes an expression only in terms of q solve for q and that's your answer now the value that you have substituted in place of x here the same value has to go in all the options and see which option satisfies as simple as that for example let us assume x equals to 1 this is an assumption it doesn't matter you can take any value x equals to 1 so what happens what do we get 1 plus 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 whole squared plus q squared yes or no now solve this what happens so 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 is 3 3 equals to 1 plus 1 by 1 is 2 2 squared plus q square 2 square is 4 plus q square so what happens q squared equals to uh -oh.
squared is equals to minus 1 which is not possible because q cannot be negative i mean q squared cannot be negative so x equals to 1 assumption was incorrect try something else that's how substitution works you all know that if one doesn't satisfy maybe you have to uh, try with some other value so try with some other value see what happens so this gives us an incorrect solution let's say x equals to 2 so what happens uh, if you take x equals to 2 we will get 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals to 2 plus 1 by 2 squared plus q squared try this time so 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 plus 1 7 equals uh, 5 by 2 Yeah, 7 equals to this is 5 by 2 whole square, right? So 5 by 2 whole square is 25 by 4 plus q square, which implies q squared equals to 7 minus 25 by 4, which comes out to be 3 by 4. 7 4 is 28, 25 minus 25 by 3 by 4. So q squared is 3 by 4, which implies q will be equal to root over 3 by 4. Yes or no? Or root 3 by 2. You can use plus or minus plus or minus root 3 by 2. Now all you have to do is, see we have got a numerical value. Options will not have numerical values of q most likely. Options will be presenting q in terms of x. What do you do? In those options, substitute x equals to 2. Anyway, this has not worked for us. Substitute x equals to 2 in those options. See which option gives you root 3 by 2. Plus or minus root 3 by 2. That can be taken as answer.